Hey lovely people, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am reorganizing my hot mess closet and rearranging how I store my jewelry in my closet. So if you think this might be something you're interested in, why don't you stay tuned? Hey lovely people, welcome back to the channel guys. We are in my closet. We're in the closet today guys because I decided to change the way I had some of my things set up in my closet and I'm using a little Dollar Tree product. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case maybe you will feel inspired to perhaps do it yourself okay i'm trying to do a little jewelry organizer for the cheap cheap and we are about to do it today now my closet is kind of messy all right so when you come in the closet this is what you see the jewelry thing oh all my coupon stuff richard suits my shirts my sweaters my sweaters various items and shoes and summer stuff summer stuff uh chair covers <laughs> uh skirts some pocket books some jeans some of my long stuff richard shirts and some shoes and pocket books and stuff so let's see how we can get it straight guys i decided to move my black jewelry rack that i had in here i've showed it in past stockpile videos that has um my jewelry hanging on it i will show you that so you can see that closet has two sliding doors so we never close the closet are you like that do you keep your closet door open <laughs> so what i decided to do before i put up the little hooks what I wanted to do was paint this wall. So I decided to paint this wall and all I'm doing is painting that wall. Y'all see the, the paint on my fingers. I used some paint I had left over from the bathroom when the bathroom was redone. Um, yeah, and I just painted that one wall. It's slightly a different color white, but who the ham sandwich cares? Crystal ain't spending no money. This was Sherman Williams paint and it's expensive, okay? And I'm not about to pull all this stuff out of this closet. I ain't about to do that <laughs> about that life today okay at the end of this video i'm gonna tell you my dream closet but we're not here for that right now let's get into the jewelry organizer these are the hooks that i'm going to be using that i got from the dollar tree they're gold they've got uh two holes for screws and they came with two screws so they're metal and there you see the hooks and they were purchased at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 with this wall this wall is like oh I don't want it to come all the way over here it's a little bit past 27 and a half inches wide so I've got like seven hooks because of the width of the hook I'm not gonna be able to space them quite like I want and use all seven so I might just six because what i'm thinking about is if i do them i don't want to do them to where they're different heights you know because they're they're long necklaces so i don't want them to be on top of each other i just wanted it to be you know clean straight across and that's that all right let me go get the leveler i like to use painter's tape when i'm hanging something it helps me get it level and it helps me not make a bunch of holes in the wall, okay? I got my little handy dandy leveler and we're gonna make it do what it do, guys. All right, so let's get my little stool positioned. And I think I was eyeballing it from this point right here. So that means I need my tape to hit up at right here, okay? So I'm gonna make me a, a little line right here and we are gonna see if it's level according to the leveler. And I think it is, cause I'm a good eyeballer. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, you better do it. I think that's pretty darn good right there. <laughs> are y'all scared of power tools? I am a little bit gonna say I'm scared of them I think I'm just 
I want to use his saw, the, the, the circular saw that does miter cuts. I want to use that saw so bad because I feel like I could just transform my house if I could use it, but baby steps, baby steps. I'll hang something with some screws in a minute. I'll do that. All right. So, let's get this going. We're going to start her out right here. And we're just going to put her right there above the tape. Okay? The actual nail is going to go right above the tape. Okay. So, y'all can't see that. It's a little bitty blue dot. It's right there that I made it inside this hole right here. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, we're rigging it, rigging it. Just so you're not looking at the back of my head the entire video, I should have moved the camera further away. But what I did, I used the hooks to mark the holes with an ink pen above the blue tape. I did it, all the hooks, placed them where I wanted them, removed the tape, and then I went back and put the hooks back up on top of the dots and screwed in the top screw and then the bottom screw from the outer edges to the inside i put the outer edge hook on one side on the left side then the right side and then i combined them going into the center and then i was done <laughs> all right i think i didn't eyeball them enough now i'm gonna put in the second screw to make sure they're straight all right I feel accomplished. Easily amused, right? Okay, so I pushed the cabinet back or the bookshelf back, pushed that back, and I went on and put some of my jewelry up here. I need to go through the jewelry and kind of like weed out some stuff that I haven't worn in a while probably just take it apart and reconfigure it but I do have uh, quite a bit hung up here so I'm super excited about that I got about three here I got one two three four necklaces there quite a few necklaces here quite a few what three there two there about what two three four there one there this is an extra jewelry stand that I have. So I just decided to put some of the gold pieces over here. And I just changed the way that I do this. If you remember the Lazy Susie that I bought from the yard sale with my sister, it was only a dollar. So what I decided to do was put some of my stuff in here that um, I kind of use like before I go to bed. This is just some of my lip products. I love lip products products i got my jewelry cleaner my vaseline my little vitamins under there lotion i got this little cute little mirror and i absolutely love it it's a magnifier on one side and uh, another mirror on the other and all of this stands up but it's lit you know super convenient while i'm in here i think um yeah and then i got another y'all know i make jewelry i have a jewelry business so i have you know jury displays but i do believe i bought this from the goodwill <laughs> i bought this from the goodwill look at how many bracelets it holds it holds a lot of bracelets plus it's got extra little side sections here this is actually for rings but i didn't put any rings in there i just put bracelets in there heck. and my daughter gave me a bunch of these little dollar tree makeup organizers so i've got i just love lip stuff guys i'm so glad we're coming out of the pandemic i can start wearing my lipstick again okay so right here look first of all when you come in the closet okay when you come in the closet this is coming in the closet all right you're coming in the closet and i told you these two sliding doors right here i put the shoe organizer here and this is just working so much better i feel for me so on here i've got my feminine products and i am low on tampons guys i gotta go coupon for some tampons my hair products that i am using okay and then down here is like lotions let's cut the light up uh-oh did my battery blow 
Okay, well, that one ain't blow. Battery blowed in that one. All right, so lotions, face stuff, face washes, hand sanitizers, and more hair products. Pretty much unused stuff. Down here is my shaving creams, feminine wipes, some scrubs, all my nail polishes. I separate them by colors to kind of keep the colors all together, makes it easier to find your polish. You know, this is probably a Tupperware, and I think this right here is a Dollar Tree. This is another extra, like, foot stuff and little pampering stuff, alcohol, and two things of alcohol back there. And then over here, I got my little nail station where I used to do my feet. And when I do my nails, my daughter bought me this little nail dryer. So cute. Yeah, so that's what this is. All kinds of little stuff to do my nails, do my feet. So this side of the closet, I got to share with the Richard. Okay, I could easily take this closet over without a problem, okay? But I've got some of his stuff in here, all right? So I have to squish my stuff in here. So up here is my wraps, some of my sweaters. I'm so excited about my Dollar Tree bins, guys, because this is helping me look organized, stay organized, and not have a bunch of crap on the floor, okay? So what is in this bin is like hats and hats don't follow hats and like scarves okay a few scarves i have a whole drawer full of scarves that are winter scarves because i make scarves and i gotta do something with that so this over here is my hair dryers okay this is my newest hair dryer that i absolutely love so the other two i just refuse to get rid of them but i love this hair dryer okay now over here is like clutches uh-oh, that's a hat that ain't supposed to be in there. <laughs> Over here is clutches, wallets, and things of that nature, okay? Is in there. In here is like my face wipes. Remember the hustle wipes when we got those extra Kleenex and things like that. Now, then I just got my pocketbooks and dust bags. Now, these right here... Um, this is just a dust bag from something because these are these two are coach bags they didn't come with dust bags but i use these dust bags and i just put ribbon around them black ribbon around them to keep them looking neat um i stuff my other bags to keep them with their shape and to keep them from to keep them standing up you know what i'm saying if you don't have a dust bag to put them in you know you can make a dust bag you could use a pillowcase from the dollar tree and actually tie it with black ribbon you could do that dollar that would cost you what a dollar 25 if you wanted to have you some dust bags if you are your purses didn't come with dust bags okay these don't have dust bags i may do that in the near future i don't know but I did stuff them. I had them stuffed with paper. You could stuff them with newspaper. You could stuff them with tissue paper, okay? Just to keep them with their shape. They tend to do a little better with them like this in their shape form. All right, my jeans are stacked up. And then that is some more of my shoes. And they do not look neat. They not in no particular order, okay? When you come in the closet, this is Richard's shirts. His dress shirts from here over to here and some vest sweater vest okay now let's go back this way this right here i need to work on okay this section right here is like jackets and moving on over here is like dresses jumpsuits they not looking too good i need to fix them okay down here i've got tubs this is a winner winner a comforter and these two things right here are chair covers when if I do an event okay now this down here are two drawers that my husband and I we got from the um I think it was Habitat from Humanity I can't remember it was some kind of thrift store we got these two drawers from and I love them because I have clothes in here as well they're not neat but they're folded okay 
so they serving their purpose because i ain't got room for them hanging up all right i got shoes back here i got shoes 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 and we got some boots back there in the back that you can't see over here we got a pair of boots and put some pool noodles in them cut it in half to make your boots stand up so they ain't flopping around all right we got a comforter and a comforter there that i don't want no more <laughs> all right so right here i did these are shirts blouses okay from here over to here and i did try to colorize them to me colorizing makes stuff look better i used to be a, a assistant manager at a goodwill store many many years ago so that's when i learned to colorize and to me it just makes stuff look better you know so then right here we have like the sequins tops and merging over to like the pants and then back there is just a little bit of skirts i don't have a lot of skirts right there we're back at the beginning of the closet again oh this right here is the rack that i was talking about i still got jewelry on it i'm gonna weed through it decide what i'm gonna keep what i'm not gonna keep what i'm going to take apart and reconfigure i don't know but i don't know if i'm going to be able to fit all of this stuff in here but my plan is to take this rack and move it into the green room so i can actually put jury on it once i make jury eyes all right guys so this is the whole reason why i redid the closet to get the mirror to be in the closet yeah okay so now i got my mirror in here and it's on a little stand it's kind of pushed up to the door right here so that's okay it's not taking up too much space you know why i did all this let me tell y'all why i did all this i wanted my my mirror in my closet i did all this reconfiguring to get a darn mirror in the closet okay <laughs> doing the most and i even changed my light yeah i changed my light in my closet to a daylight bulb guys cost me ten dollars and it's transformed the room it transformed the room, God, I promise you. Now stuff is the true color because they they have a, did you see that? Did y'all see my lights blink? <laughs> it's storming outside and I declare my lights blink. All right, lovely people, that is it for today's video. Hopefully this little mini closet organization on the cheap cheap will help you in some way and inspire you to organize your closet. I feel organized already just being in here because I feel like I'm gonna be able to easily find my stuff in the morning. I'm not gonna be looking for stuff and I'm not having to go back and forth. Now I do have jewelry in my other jewelry boxes out in the bedroom, but it's okay because this I feel like is just gonna make me feel like I can kind of get everything kind of centralized together while I'm in here. I don't have shoes in the other bedroom anymore. I got everything in the closet. All right. So I think it's going to work for me much better when we do eventually do more of an upgrade on the closet. I will be sure to share with you guys. In closet, what I would actually like to have is double decker rods okay i would like to be able to double decker the rods maybe have um some cabinetry in here or some type of shelving i don't really care for this rack shelving that's in here but we're gonna work with what we got for right now okay but i feel like we are crafty over here we are franklin's and we make it happen so i feel like we could do it if we put our mind to it and richard definitely got the tools <laughs> So, if you guys have taken on a closet organization, let me know. I, I would like to know if you got any ideas of ways that I can make my closet work better for me. Let us know in the comments below. I'm sure the lovely people would be interested in you sharing your knowledge. I will see you guys later and bye-bye.